just fueling up. Hey everybody, it is Saturday, November 10th, 2018. Uh, finishing up the Ohio corn harvest here. And we are working with another farmer today. Well, we're pretty much done here at the Martin Farms and we're helping the Sangers. They kind of helped back and forth through soybeans and uh, we're helping them finish up the corn. So I'm actually running their uh, John Deere today on the grain cart uh, 8870, which uh, I love that series of tractors right there. That's probably my favorite four wheel drive John Deere's of all of them was the 60 or 70 series. And uh, out here trying to keep up with two combines. It got pretty cold last night. We've been wet and uh, it's time to get this corn done. It's going down. It's getting later in the year and so forth. So uh, got down to 20 degrees last night. It may, may be a little colder in some places, but anyways, ground's frozen hard and everything. So we're trying to get done here. So uh, anyways, I'm uh, gonna get a couple shots for you today here. Hopefully both combines. So we got the S670 eight row head and then we also uh, a 9660 with an eight row head. And I'm running the 8870 and this grain cart trying to keep up. And speaking of deer, we got three deers running in the field here and here comes four of them right there. We ran these out of the corn a little bit ago and they're confused and they ran over that way about a half a mile and now they're coming back but now they notice me out here. So I'm gonna get back in the tractor and maybe they'll come a little closer.
stocking hat. So if you didn't know that, uh, you know that now. Anyways, like I said, it's cold out here, but I like it. I like this time of year. Thanksgiving's almost here. And then Christmas, just a great time of the year. And looks like I got a semi pulling in, so I better get my butt in gear. picked up this Heston stack hand 10 the other day so uh, pretty excited about this hopefully it dries out enough I can get it out this year and make a couple uh, corn stover bales or loaves uh, and uh, a little bit about this uh, these were built in the early 70s to mid 70s late 70s maybe all through the 70s I don't have the exact date but uh, I had a neighbor that had one of these when I was a kid his name was uh, Arlo Dustman he was a dairy farmer and his land butted up against my grandpa's and I just always remember watching him run this thing but I don't know much about it but uh, as far as the operation I don't have an operator's manual for this yet but I did find one online so I got one coming but uh, this has a flail pickup so it'll pick it up the corn stalks or hay it'll blow it up and then of course this uh, roof will raise up it'll blow the stuff material back there and then you lower the roof and compress it and it has a web floor so once you get your uh, stack complete you will engage the floor back will open up and you will eject the bale or the loaf of uh, corn stalk or hay so uh, anyways uh, pretty good shape considering the age uh, guy put this out by the road for sale over by uh, Indiana in uh, a dealer I know just happened to see it and uh, sent me a couple pictures and the phone number so I bought this uh, I guess last Saturday is when I made the offer and then uh, was able to pick it up and uh, get it home so anyways uh, like I said pretty excited about it here looks like I probably have a shield missing for right here but uh, um, decals are still good a little bit of rust uh, I'm gonna probably paint the wheels here and uh, chains look probably have to take them off and get them so they're not froze up and then the web floor to lube it up and uh, give it a good going over here and uh, hopefully we get a few days of sunshine and I can make a few uh, a few stacks and make a video of that but hey look the grain heads are all nestled and snug in their beds so soybean harvest is complete.
grain cart. But we're gonna do this. We're kind of big time here today with uh, two green combines going here in uh, nice cold fall weather, kind of like the good old days. So. Uh, Wonder what uh, big tractor power a Minnesota millennial farmer would think of this operation right now. Damn tough to see. 
what's going on here. Okay, both combines won't be running again. Let's get some stuff done. So before it gets dark and I'm waiting on a truck, uh, let's just talk a little bit about the John Deere 8870 I'm running here. What do I think of it? Well, it's a, you know, it's a bit of an older tractor. What, probably uh, late 80s, I'm guessing, early 90s maybe. Uh, I like it. Um, not a real big cab. I mean, there's no room for a rider, but that's fine. Um, anyways, uh, never drove this tractor before, so I had to get used to it on the green cart especially so I got that down pat but uh, no uh, working out really good uh, it's a nice tractor I guess I don't know if I should call it a classic tractor yet but uh, anyways I do like it like I said earlier these are my favorite uh, four-wheel drive John Deere tractors these are probably my favorite series these 60 and 70 series I don't know why I just like the look of them but uh, anyways uh, yeah this will probably be one of the last few days uh, I get to do a harvest vlog here um, season's coming to an end uh, I think we're down under uh, 200 acres now and there's still crops around the area we're supposed to get some nice weather here and some snow next week then but uh, there's a lot of soybeans out I'd hate to have soybeans out right now with these short days and stuff and uh, moisture in the ground and stuff but uh, anyways a couple muddy spots in the field here that didn't freeze last night but other than that today's been a great day yeah, I really believe I could be running that Heston stack hand today right behind the combine if I had it ready to go and was out here, but I think it's a little more important to get this crops off. So, Anyways, that's all I got to say. I was hoping to pop the drone up in the air with both combines in the field, but uh, that didn't happen. So... semi is stuck so I'm going to get a chain so I don't know if I'm going to be able to film that but I'm going to get a chain and we're going to pull a semi out how about that always something exciting all right look at that we got a moon up there in the sky like a quarter moon or whatever but uh, anyways a little nighttime action for you semi out no problem but I couldn't video that and pull it out at the same time so maybe next time All right, hopefully we don't get stuck again though
So we're uh, just waiting on trucks here. Uh, it's about eight o'clock, I think. It's 26 degrees, I can see frost setting in here. Gonna be a clear night and uh, just about got this field done. If we could get two more trucks here, which I think they're coming, and uh, we'll have this field knocked off. So that's, uh, we got a lot done today. So uh, we'll see what happens tomorrow, whether I continue to harvest or go to the motorcycle races. Time will tell, stay tuned.